Hey, happy Saturday. I had a, well, we've been getting, uh, you know, a few, oops, a few emails about how to properly assemble our new Alatura Razor. That's the silver, and this is the obsidian version. I can't decide which one I like more. I think when you put the blade in, the silver, oops, I think when you put the blade in, the silver obviously looks a little more seamless because it just, the chrome blends with the chrome. And then that silver on that, it still looks amazing. I don't know which one I like better, but I wanted to go over proper application. So we give you this box, magnetic snapshot box that comes with five blades. Now these are really sharp. So you know, when you take them out of this box, these are Gillette seven o'clock sharp edge blades. So it's just, they come individually wrapped. Take them out. Just like this. They're wrapped in little paper. Just like that. And they just gently unfold it. And then you're not going to cut yourself. Oh, well, geez, I don't want to say that. Just, just grab in the middle and then just hold at the ends, just like that. And we'll start with, say, the black one. Obsidian, not black. You want it to be unique. And then you just unscrew the head, just like that. See how it just pops off? And the little thing sticking out is what remains. So then you just pull that apart, just like that. And then you insert the blade in between that little prong in the middle. Fits in just like that. See that? And then you grab the other part from the head and then you put the teeth on top of it. Slides, right, slides right in just like that. And then you grab the end that you screw in on top of the head. Just like that. That's how it should look. I mean, it's, uh, I've been shaving my arms. We had this conference last, uh, was it last weekend? Yeah, and uh, I was <laughs> just showing people just how clean and effective it is. I shaved earlier today. It is, you know, the benefit of using uh, an actual blade as opposed to say like Bic or Gillette, Mach 3, Fusion, all of those big companies that have you buy replacement blades. You can go to Costco. I remember using the Mach 3 and I'd have to go to Costco and buy, I think it was a replacement blades. It came in packs of five or six for around $30 at Costco and they'd be like close to $40 at Target and I would just try to save 10 bucks and I'd switch those out one head a week. And I still, I mean, the blades were causing a lot of irritation because those are three blades that are touching the skin. People don't understand, you just need one where the safety guard blocks the follicle so the blade just wipes right through. You know, so you're just, like that right there, the sa that's not, the safety guard is touching my skin. And then the blade comes on top of that and just wipes the follicle, it's lifted. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've, once I found out about that, there, I mean, it's the only way to go. Is either, I mean, ideally I'd work my way up to an actual uh, straight razor, but I'm not there yet. But I mean, this is a this is what this is perfect for me. So it's uh, yeah, you just you you fit the blade in. I probably get a week out of this. I shave three to four times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. But the just the the heavyweight, durable brass handle allows for a lot of control. So it's not like you're carrying around say uh, stainless steel. Uh, which is lighter and may cause your, you know, for a little, uh, you know, a little bit more of room for air because it's so light. This is heavier, so you really get a lot of control because you're engaged the whole time, and you just the hair just wipes off. I haven't, I have not experienced anything like it. That's why I had to make it. It's because I really feel like not only does it stand out from a closeness and precision standpoint, but as far as cost effective, it's I mean, you get you can get packs of a hundred Persona blades. Persona, Feather, Merker, um, Gillette have good ones, but Persona and Feather are my favorites. You can get packs of 100 for $11.89 on Amazon Prime. 
and say you use one a week, those will last you a couple of years. I mean, it's a fraction of the cost, better on the environment. And I, I just, I love the heavy, I've never seen a brass one out there. Uh, I went to Artist Shaving, picked, you know, I just asked way too many questions. And, uh, but yeah, they, I mean, they're similar. They're, they're good other options out there. I like this the best. If it were, um, yeah, if it were me, this is what I would go with. Just because of the heavyweight design, obviously the sleek little logo engraved. But yeah, I wanted to explain just proper technique on how to apply the blade inside in between the heads. You get that down, you are good. Just replace the blades as needed. And yeah, less waste, less waste on the environment and less trash, less packaging. And it's uh, extremely cost effective when you think about it. So I just wanted to explain our new uh, latest addition to the Altura team, the Altura family. And if you, oh, okay, Ryan, I have a Merker razor, looks like yours. Is there any difference besides the brass? Yes, I have, I used to use Merker. I don't want to, uh, Talk, talk trash about another brand. I'm, I'm not. I'm just being 100% uh, transparent right now. I, I still have the the Merker. I should do like a blind test, uh, but it's gonna be tough to use to do a blind test without my logo showing because Merkers does They don't have. They have a little logo on their handle. But personally, I prefer it. Um, let's see. What what would I say is different? Um, the heavyweight, the heavyweight handle allows for a lot more control. The head of Merker, it's tough. Well, it's just the truth in my experience. I've gone through probably four or five of the actual heads because they, they pop off if you touch the sink and kind of give it a little one of those. They tend to unscrew a little, like you say, if you're, you're going and going and going, you know, up, down. Um, next thing you know, the head will split apart from underneath the top and you have to unscrew it. This right here, it stays a lot better, um, just in my opinion. But uh, yeah, and, and Merkers, I mean, I could only hope to be as big as them one day, seriously. So, hey, they're doing something right. They're a great brand, they have a great product, but we're we're right there, if, in my opinion. Uh, that's what I would use, but yeah, it's, it's great. It's the best way to shave women as well, uh, underneath the arms. Uh, legs, any part of the body, uh, we've yeah we've, we've used it all in the beta testing, and it's extremely effective in all uh, forms of shaving. So it's it's yeah, it's just really unique. There are a lot of you know, YouTube test testimonials on, excuse me, uh, testimonials on uh, Safety Edge razors and the benefits of them, and what they do to your skin, and how they benefit your skin as opposed to having that plastic, you know, lubrication strip of say you know bigger brands like. Um, Gillette, Fusion, Mach 3, all of that. So you're not touching your skin with the plastic or that uh, you know chemical lubricant that uh, slides across, across and allows for the, the blade of the, the glide of the blade. So I prefer to use this. I use, I use my Alatura Gold Serum before because it just kind of protects it. it, allows for a nice glide, but also hits that, that area that you just freshly wiped off with really nutrient dense ingredients and healing ingredients. So before and after, that's what I use. But you're more than welcome to use what you'd like, but it's, yeah, it's effective. I really want to do some type of, uh, I don't know, some type of like challenge as far as like, if it's not the best shave you've ever had, just send it back to me. I mean, we have, we obviously have like a, a you know, hundred percent, you know, money back guarantee on all of our products, but this is something It's just, I love things that are like instant, uh, instant results, things that you can see and feel immediately. This is one of them. It's undeniable. I mean, I, I do a lot of uh, dry shaving in my, in say like conferences and things like that. And, but the thing is, it's, there's no redness, there's no irritation after that. I don't know why that is. It's got to be because of the safety guard or something. But uh, with other blades, I, I would have to worry about that irritation, razor burn, razor bumps, and uh, ingrown hairs, things like that. Things that just don't happen anymore. That's that's why I switched. And that's why I became so like passionate about the double edge razors in the first place because um, it got explained to me how the whole thing works. You're not cutting with other blade with other uh, razor blades. Sometimes you cut the hair too short, and so it doesn't grow out of the skin. It just grows to the side, and that's an ingrown hair right there. So uh, this right here, it just gets it right. It just wipes it off. There's no tugging or pulling or cutting too short beneath the skin. You're just wiping the hair follicle right off. Pro tip, or I'm not a pro, but one of my tips would be uh, to do a clay mask before, 
because it exfoliates, but also kind of lifts up your follicles of your hair. So it just allows for a clean glide, clean swipe of the blade that just wipes off the hair. So yeah, really, this is a product. It's, it's almost like revitalized for me where it's not, uh, it's, 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 it's extremely personal to me because of my, just my history with, with shaving and my history with supplements with revitalized. But I mean, it is technically skincare and grooming, but this is more of like a passion product, basically, or, or passion, yeah, passion product. Because I just really feel like uh, this is something that uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, showing me a lot of results and I've seen the benefits of doing, using a, just a, a new blade each time and, and a safety razor has really helped with my, my skin, my skincare routines because I don't get any of those uh, razor burns or anything like that in grown hairs, definitely not anymore. So that's, which is great because that was the only thing once I was really getting into skincare is something that was out of my control when it was my blades. And so finally, luckily I met a friend who was really passionate about shaving. He got me into Merker and then um, I started using the blades. So I bought one of those and started just uh, buying the blades. And from a cost standpoint, you buy one of those razors and you just buy the blades and you have them for years at, you know, $11 at, you know, what is that? I mean, that's $5 a year. What is that? So five, 12 divided by five. That's, geez, it's pretty cheap. So yeah, if you have, okay, Dina, would you say that one needs to learn how to shave with that type of razor if coming from the triple blade type? Hi, Dina. Yes. You know, that's, that's the thing. It's your, it's a very sharp blade and you have to get the technique down, but it's worth it. It's worth learning. Um, uh, gave one to my dad recently. I think he cut himself on the first one. I mean, nicked himself. He didn't, it wasn't too bad, but, um, yeah, I mean, I just, now I just, you know, light, light wrist and, uh, I mean, I shaved earlier, so that's a bad example, but, um, yeah, just light, light, loose wrist, but also just making sure you get your, your technique down with the safety guard and just hitting that skin or hitting that, uh, yeah, just right before the follicle, just not directly down blade on skin, but the blade actually doesn't even have a chance to touch the skin. That's the beautiful part of the safety razor. So yeah. Passion product turn product in the store and uh, passion passion project turn product in the store. I love it. It's uh, it's awesome. Would you say okay? So hopefully that answers your question. And yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to uh, fire away. I'll be here all weekend. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend as well. And yeah, thank you for the support.